Hey guys, welcome back to Stand By. My name is Tony. I'm Justin. And we're reviewing the Hydra Mount. Everybody, welcome back to Standby. I'm Chris. Uh, we're here with Phil, Tony, and Jay. We're here to talk about the GBRS Hydra Mount, its uses, uh, what we think is good about it, uh, how we would use it, and uh, where we uh, what, what our opinions on it so far that we've tested it. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, we're pretty hammered by this episode, so just letting you know. Yeah. Wow. 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 That's so hard. I bet I come out with a mink. Folks, remember that line, Migos. I bet I come out with a mink. That's how we felt when we took the brand new mount from GBRS out for the first time. They got a lot of mounts out now. I mean, it's fucking 2023. We came out with the mink that day. Lots. Let's do it. And I bet we would have. The what? The mink. It's a coat. It's a very expensive, oh, very expensive it's an coat. It's an animal. A mink coat, actually. Yeah, we did. So you already said we're talking about this one, huh? Yeah. Oh, talking about the right BBRS. This, this thing is heavy as fuck. Who's right with this guy now? It's not that heavy. Dude, this thing's a tank, dude. It's, got, it's a little beefy. GBRS anyway. mount. Hey. I got a lot to say about it. What about you, Jay? Tony? Not a lot? <laughs> I got to I think the thing that I'll I'll start off with is I was I fell into the category of everybody else who was online that was like what the fuck. And then and then and only then when I got it in my fat freaking hands and we shot it I went holy cow not is this not only does this make sense for guys like us yeah I see why they made it for dudes like them. Why, dudes, why at first were you like what the fuck? <laughs> Initial impression seeing it because I'm looking at it and I'm going, okay, aim point T2, very reputable, very hardcore sight, red for as far as red dots go. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, hol the, I'm a holographic guy. I, I'm an EOTech dude. Um, I like the EOTechs, but I'm looking at the photos online when it first dropped, the renders, the and then the actual, like, Sam. Buff, the pre-production runs. Yeah. I'm like, damn, that's fucking tall. Hold up. Oh, nice and close to that thing. You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking uh, slings, getting caught on it. I'm thinking of anything, and I'm like, that just looks... There's no way that's real. I thought it was a meme, to be honest. Yeah. And then I saw him putting on rifles, and there's you got fucking DJ and all those dudes that have done bad shit to bad people for a fucking lifetime yeah. are going, hey, this is ours. We're putting it out. This is real. Here's video, B-roll of us shooting it. I went, okay. <laughs> Wasn't on board, but I was like, okay, because I'm was, i nobody. Piqued your interest. I'm nobody, but it piqued my interest. Right? I, who the yeah. fuck am I to talk about some shit what SEALs are doing? Never in my life, but... Then we got it, or excuse me, you got it rather, and we put it on everything that day. Everything we could fucking get our hands. On. And the best part about putting on everything is it is I'm thinking, okay, we put it on the the TP9, right? Yeah. I'm going perfect. This has got to be for an MP7 because it's all it's made it. for. It's all it's made for. Except it worked on everything. We put it on that, and I go, okay, rail space is limited for your for rail your space is limited, yeah, and your and your stuff. This makes sense. This feels better than anything you could have done without it. Right, oh, if yeah. you put the peck on the side or on the bottom, or you could have done anything to that TP9, and it would not have worked as well as it did with that on it. Then we put it on the rifle, and you put it on your Daniel, and we put it on the we put it on the Scorpion. Uh, Tony and I put it on a uh, a two four nine and ripped that around. That was like the two four nine was this was the same thing as TP9 because you got fully automatic. You know that that's obviously an open bolt light machine gun, but it's like, dude, you just sit there. Same thing with TP9, just less rail space. It's more heads real estate. It's more. It's just you just sit there. It's like oh yeah. shit, threat, deleted. You you know what I mean? It was insane, and it was it was so cool. So and what would you, what do you think that 
like it, fit, it its role fits best in like I, it's where it shines out of every out, weapon it outside of hitting a blowing a hole in the wall with a fucking t-bomb and killing <laughs> some guy in isis anything with limited rail space and if you i think i think uh night vision i think that's huge for night vision okay what about I, you guys what do you guys think? Yeah, I mean, I'm with the night vision, and when when I say limited rail space, I think like if you look at this rifle, that's thirteen seven. It, has, seven. it has yeah, but you see the rail space like on the side where it's actually mounted. Yeah, like probably less rail space than that. Oh that's, yeah, for sure. Like like, so you have the like, I think we we put it on. We may put it on the um, APC. Yeah, we, that's right. We did put it on the APC. APC nine, the BNT APC nine, like. Um, Put on we, a had, saw. we have the APC 9K, which is super short, like doesn't have, has very little rail space. Oh, that's right. It was the K barrel. Yeah. So super short, super, you know, that, I mean, something like that, the TP9, uh, an MP7, any of those um, like submachine gun type of, type of guns yeah. where you need, you, you're trying to mount multiple things onto it. Yeah. And if you're doing any kind of like nod work because of the way it sits. Outside of those two things, me personally... I think it's a hundred percent a gimmick. That's just me. Yeah, I think it's a gimmick. I think it's not going to do anything, anything real useful, or, or um, I think it's just more of a, a novelty item. Outside of if you're not running one of those guns, and if you own it and you're running on your on your guns, like I don't see where it's possible to where it can really shine. That's fair. What about but, night vision though? Do we, do we do we think the night vision passively aiming through the optic? Do you think that? It brings it up really passive aiming. Passive aiming, and, and if you're passive aiming, you're no longer using your optic. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Looking down your optic, you I can do the same. I do the I can do the same thing with my Unity. Man. Sure. No, no, I I agree. That's that's my only. That's I guess more my problem is is like the the concept behind it is like I get where they're coming with this, and I think it's very valid for a submachine gun style gun. Agree. No, where or like and, some kind of SBR. I SBR. I don't think it's it's very useful. It's really? Very useful. Yeah. Like a ten three. No. It's kind of like the same. Well, well, weight, the only, the only weight reason I, that was the other no. thing. I would say it plays into like the the Mark eighteen and shit like that is if you have really lanky ass arms, yeah. it helps a little bit. Uh, yeah, lanky. What about weight? Because wow. a lot of guys I know, a lot of guys will like the weight. Like Jay, you, you said that there's dudes that run their pecs up against the front of their weapon sight. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so we'll talk specifics real quickly. So the Hydra mount, this one in particular, is five point seven ounces. I mean, it, it's it's kind of light. Um, I think it, like we were saying, it has its place. Uh, if you're, if you are a guy, let's say that has a safe and you've got multiple guns, right? I think this mount has a place in your safe. I think it has a job if you have a short barrel rifle, if you have a tax stamp or if you have a sub gun with tax stamp, it has a place, okay, right? FT. I think it. I think it has a place. I don't yeah. think it's. You know, I don't. I don't think this is a solution for everyone's short barrel rifle, because um, it's a very niche, right? It's like, sorry, it's a very niche community. You're talking about guys who have MVGs, who've got lasers, who've got this and that. Yeah, I mean, we're talking rifles about, tricked out. We're talking about maybe the one percent of the one percent. Yeah, right. So it, it's got a place, and. If you're buying this mount, it depends on also what kind of optic you have. They have multiple options when it comes to you got an EOTech, you've got a SIG 4T, whatever the fuck it is, you've got an Aimpoint Pro yeah. H, whatever. It's got that footprint. Vortex, Vortex, fits whatever yeah. fits on the footprint. Red dot. Red dot. Yeah. Um it's got the footprint on there. Uh it's not for everybody. It's a very niche community when it comes to this particular setup um and it and it has its place uh i think for people who buy guns and you know acquire a lot of different things your end of you're gonna buy this mount yeah is it expensive yes we're talking about 400 to 500 dollars for this mount yeah what you shelled change. out yeah what you shelled out right with tax and everything we're talking about let's just round up to 550 yeah this mount has its place in your safe. If you're a multi-gun owner and, you know, you live in Texas, California, wherever it is, yeah. you're a multi-gun owner, this mount has its place. You've got MVGs, you've got a gas mask. This will have its place in your safe. Is it for the basic guy who's got one AR 
who shoots, you know, avidly on the weekend? No, probably not. Probably not. Probably not yeah. because it's a very expensive mount. But I think if you've got a lot of guns in your safe and you're looking for a lot of different things, you're eventually going to buy this mount because it falls into that category. Well, you'll you're, you'll see the benefits of it later on with MVGs, with a gas mask, with whatever you have be, pressure switches and this and that, lights. Um, it comes into play for sure. Um, it's very expensive, yeah, no doubt, but I think it'll benefit you in the long run. Um, See, I, and I, I just disagree, I disagree with all that. I think, I think it's, it's extremely niche, and the 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 guy who owns multiple guns, the guy who does all that kind of stuff, like I would say, any one of us, for as much as me and you, let's just even say. For as much as we shoot, for the much as we train, for the, for the guns that we have and we do and, uh, and running MVGs, having gas masks, having all this and stuff, I still don't see it being in place or anything. Because if you look at currently Phil's gun, mm-hmm. Phil's running a running you know a Unity riser on his on his optic. That his current Unity riser is tall enough to where he can run that gun. He can run that optic with NVGs. He can run that optic <clears throat> and that mount with a gas mask. He can do all that he needs to. And there's enough rail space, even that being even that being if you run a 10 3 stuff, there's still enough rail space with the actual um top piece and then the the rail. There's enough on there to be able to mount almost everything you need. Is it going to be cluttered? Yeah. Is adding this this riser going to, you know, fix that clutter? No, because it's it's all it's doing is it's, it's helping to stack on on an area that that because if you look at it right now, it's it's oh, it's hovering over where rail space is. Sure, right. and it's gonna be the same exact setup, same exact thing on a, on a ten three. So you would need to have less rail space than is currently than than I would I would say that's actually on the yeah. upper receiver in order for it to really be in its place, and that's why I stick by the whole TP nines, the MP seven, the APC nine K. Yeah. So it has like, a place. It has a place, but it's sub such gun. a it's I, such a it's it's the sub it's gun. It's a sub gun only, in my opinion. It's a sub gun only. Any 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 SBR, there's there's still too much rail space on an SBR for for that to really make sense, I, in my opinion. I definitely agree with that, and I think what I was what I was trying to say was like, I guess Jay summed it up better than I did. Was it does what it advertises and it does it well, but. I think you, yeah, I think you're fucking poking holes in a boat that doesn't need any more holes. You don't need to put this on this particular rifle. You don't There's, need to put it on a 10 3. Like, th- this is a Daniel. This is. I think I do. This is. Uh, and that's me. That's uh, that's me I, coming from a 10 3, whatever guy in the military. Thank God. Is that. Uh, so I got a lot of shit going on at the end of this rifle, right? And it's very front heavy. Mm-hmm. I don't have a lot going on, like counterweight for the rear of the rifle. Like. It's very front heavy for me. Like my rifle, ten three, whatever down in defense, I'm running. It feels very front heavy, and this kind of balances it out. So you're so you're looking at more, not really so much of the rail space. You're looking at more of being able to balance out the gun. Well, no, also it's the because optic. Not, the optic height is good for me, okay. right? So I'm running I MPGs. Like I'm running, you know, gas mass. Mm-hmm. Uh, God forbid, um, it's it's high enough for me where I could passively aim through it through my MVGs and I could see it again. It's a very niche market. Like you're saying, right? It's like, Hey, uh, you know, but it's, I don't know. It's fucking sick. I, mount. And I like, also, but I also think $500 is way too fucking much, yeah, but it's a little, that, that's, but you it's gotta think a little steep. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's it's, outrageous. But you gotta think about stupid. like it's a fucking mount. It is. Sure. But look at where they're coming from. Like it's probably, what, what is it called? Like fucking anodized, Billet oh, aluminum. They're all those, so those are all aircraft aluminum parts. Same okay. as same as unit. No, I'm agreeing with you. I'm just finishing. Yeah, that's fine. But you know, but where but so where, your point, where are those pieces say that 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 plate? Because right, I mean, you're probably using your. I think there's more there's more technology and stuff that goes into the building of a Unity mount. 100 percent than but, a GBRS mount and the GB. But how much is a Unity mount? Let's so say 100, I get a, 150 so bucks. That's what I was gonna say. Uh, a Unity uh, aim point mount is how much? 150 bucks? Yeah, so... No, I think it's like $300. So this is, no, this is because I, I own one. I, an Aimpoint Unity mount? The yes. I looked are, it up today. It was like three, $400. Those are the EOTech ones. Because I wanted to... Because I kind of want to dabble the in the... The Aimpoints are cheaper. So... They, no, I, this no, is, I want to... I want Because I looked it up today because I want to dabble in the, the Sig Romeo 4T, whatever mount. Um, is you talking about like the, the T2? Yeah. 
Well, no, the 4T. 4T. So when I when I did so this is a fucking this setup here, this is a fourteen hundred, thirteen hundred dollar optic setup on this rifle. The the mount for the base optic was two hundred and like four. So this one right here, so the they have this is the eight this T two. It's two oh five. Mm-hmm. Um, this was t- just over two hundred dollars for just this. The expensive part was the articulating part for the riser for the uh, for this uh, magnifier, which makes sense. This is a really hard cut. My dad's in machining. This this is this this probably you know they take these recon little, got hydro anyway. So they they right. take all these divots out of it. They got to make it recon. lightweight. This this is a hard cut on a machine. This is this is a CNC job. That's what I'm talking like recon of HK. I'm, I'm telling you I right just, now. The the reason why I say the reason why I say that it's not oh. because there's already there's already companies coming out with those, and I know I personally know of a company that's it's the same exact metal, it's the same exact design, it's the same exact everything, and the fucking mounts like like. Two hundred bucks. Yeah. I, I'm not arguing with so, like, the I price just, point is high, right? I just but think the, I just think they're overcharging for what it is. I think we've got to take the totality of the circumstances when it comes into. All right, these guys got to buy the block of aluminum. They've got to send it to some CNC guy that's got a fucking CNC. It they out. have their own CNC. There's no way they don't. Not, you're not making this thing. So you think GBRS has their own CNC machine? I think GBRS outsources. I know for a fact Unity does. This right here. This is a composite piece. Two pieces. This cut here is CNC. This can't be done on a lathe. This is this. Yeah, is, this is most a, most of this stuff is, is CNC work. This probably yeah, because pro- you're gonna it, you you take you take out any any. Um, well, that's what I was saying. Hum, so like, human error. This is two hundred. This is lathe. This is easy. They can do straight. These are. I all wouldn't say angle. it's lathe at all. It's all no, CNC. No, I guarantee you, all this is CNC. It's all Fair CNC. Enough. But this, what I'm saying is, to Justin's price point, this is two hundred dollars. This is almost four hundred dollars. I paid three seventy for this. But look yeah. at but look no at deal. the amount of this work part. that goes into that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying. So I was trying. I was trying. The point I was trying to make was, while these are different prices and it makes sense. I don't know, dude. I think this is probably a fucking two-hour program on a CNC oh, machine. Oh, yeah, easy. This right here, if th- is this yeah, that's pretty wonky. That's like, a that's a two-hour program for probably two of them. So you gotta you gotta think. I don't think G. I don't think those guys over there have a CNC machine. I think that. No, I think that no is chance. A, I think they. You're got talking it. about five hundred thousand dollars to a million dollar machine. If I had to, if I were to R and D this, and I'm I'm nobody, I would three D print, test R and D. This worked. Make a CAD file, send it off to. But CNC if you're gonna shop. fucking, if you're gonna 3D print that, you're, you're talking plastic. I'm saying, no, so I'm saying though, I'm saying just all in, just to make this mount in its final out for production, that was a fucking fifteen thousand dollar production yeah. run, and they probably only made two of them at that time. The production they did now, this probably cost them before it hits the door to go out. I'd say upwards of three hundred dollars. I, I just think it's overpriced. I mean, I I my it's expensive. I'm not doubting yeah. you there. It's expensive. I, yeah, I think it. I think it's you know. Over, um, like I said, I have a very. I think it's extremely niche. I get. I. I. I will backtrack a little bit and say I. I understand what you mean as far as balance is concerned. Um, balance, I would. I would. I would agree with and I would accept. As far as rail space, I think there's pl- uh, there's plenty of rail space to, to do everything you need to mount sure. onto it, on uh, almost any SBR gun. Um, you know, so that's that's where I think it's, it's it's a cool mount. It looks really good. I mean, when you put it on a sub gun. Uh, you know, some dude. It, it looks. Insane. It looks fucking clean. Yeah. yeah. It looks super clean. I mean, it's and it's like and it it totally makes sense. Well, that's where like it said, shines. Running, running yeah. with running it shines. With, sub gun category. Yeah, that, that's like rock. Honestly, rock. it it shines for me personally. Ten three, ten five lower. It shines. I I I thrown so much shit on my fucking rifle, whether it be for military, or law enforcement. Yeah. I throw so much goddamn shit on it, where it's like. Oh Jesus Christ! I think either heavy front heavy or it's like yeah. you know, there's a lot of stuff going on up front. I, I get and I and I would definitely say that you would you have the most experience um, out of all four of us when it comes to that. Like I don't run a rifle very very often. You know I have my rifle. I know how to run the rifle. I'm decent at running the rifle. But you've actually you've you've deployed with rifles. You've used that, so you have a lot more knowledge than that. Sure. So I would I would I would you know stand by if this is what you're saying. You like these for these reasons. I'll I'll well, see to that. Well, like, let's okay. let, let's take into account the guy who's got a lot of rifles, mm-hmm. who's class three firearms for California, right? Yeah. And what did he say? He was like, "I got to buy one of these." That's true. Right? He did say that. For but what was it for? It's he for was a saying for the, he was saying for the B and T. Like but Tony that's said. my point. Yeah, that's like that's all my point. It has its niche. Yeah, Definitely it, it, has, it, it has its I'm niche. I'm not saying let's throw this on a fourteen five. He was speaking on. Let's throw this on a fucking. I stand. I stand. I stand by wholeheartedly. If I owned any kind of sub gun of that nature. Yes, Lewis, I would buy that thing 
no regardless if it was regardless if it was uh, full automatic or not like fully auto semi i don't care i would I would buy one of those things for one of those type of guns for sure because it. Yeah. Somebody one, said your voice is really shitty, by the way. So it if you could just really church shitty. it up. Nope, can't do it. Nope, can't do it. Don't do it. Um, mm-hmm. Spitz go, LV. Go out on your own terms. So <laughs> that's that's <laughs> Luis. It's Luis. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Luis, Spitz dude. LV. It's Luis. I agree. With, I, I agree with this. Both. Is this is actually Luis's favorite mount, dude? He loves the. G- he loves the Hydra mount. Uh, he's a big fan of the Hydra mount. Really? Him and him and B Dub, big fans I of the agree. Hydra mount. I agree with both you. I What's B Dub? Oh, I don't want to throw B Dub's name out there for it. <laughs> yeah, B Dub. B Dub's a big fan of it. So I think I'll put this in two categories. I'll think I'll put it in the category of you're you have to buy it. It's for you. And the other category I'll put it in is you're probably gonna buy it. I think for the ten five guys. S- I think for the ten my, five my boy, guys, my boy Spitz, my boy Spitz, he's gonna he's gonna take care of me and get you the get me the proper one that doesn't have the GBR. You might, on it. you Which might, one is uh, that? For way cheaper. Which one is that? It's I don't good. know. I'll talk. To you. He has he has a link for it. I think for the for he knows the, which one it is. For the you're gonna buy it guys. No, like it's what sexy. Jay's talking about. Uh, it's a sexy voice. All right. All right. <laughs> he's not talking about you. I, I think for the, I think for the uh, must be talking about me. Gonna I think <laughs> hello <laughs> hello. <laughs> I left my home. That's right, brother. I th- I think for the guys that are like I'm, you you have to buy it. Are yeah. gonna be the B and T dudes, the fucking AP nines, yeah. the TMPs, that stuff. For for what Justin was saying, I think it's gonna you're gonna end up buying it. Is for the ten fives. I think if you run a red dot, guys, I've do you like red dots or do you like yeah. hollows? No, what, what do you like? Do you like red dots? Or do you like hollows? <laughs> Jay, do you prefer red dots or hollows? Uh, honestly, I'm going to change it up a little bit. Um, so you're, you're moving you ran, out of your comfort you've zone. You've ran hollow for a long time. You're running I've out of your ran, comfort zone. I've ran uh, EOTech for, I don't know, the past 10 Decade. to 15 years. Decade. Damn. And the only yeah. reason I'm going to try and change it up a little bit, obviously because my boy who came out here last week, yep. I said, hey, what do you run in your rifle? Oh, he told me he runs SIG, 4T, whatever the fuck it is. Um, because we're kind of... I, we're not on the same page. No, not even close. No one. No. But he said, uh, he said they run the uh, the EOTech reticle, right? So it's like thirty two MOA and one MOA dot. So uh, I'm gonna try the Sig four T Romeo. Okay. A little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna try it. Probably not. The the higher end Sig uh, optics are pretty nice. Yeah. They're and this nice. is the higher end Sig. It's yeah. like four or five hundred dollars. I mean, it's what I have. It's what I have on my. Um, on my handgun, I'm running the 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 Romeo three XL. Yeah, it's like it's almost like six hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars. Opt- yeah. optic. It's a very expensive it's, optic. Yeah. It's the same. It's a bigger window than the SRO. I think it's just because. Well, yeah. he broke it down for me. He's like, it's a weight saving option. Well, I'm gonna try it, and we'll go from there. I mean, I've got rifle builds that I need to do and complete. Yeah. So we'll go from there, and we'll, we'll figure out if I'm gonna try it or not. I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm I'm always a big fan. I, I'm a bigger fan of of red dots over over. I hate red hollows. dots. I think they're I think they, their battery life lasts longer. And if you understand, oh yeah, yeah. If you understand, oh yeah. If you understand where your where your cheek well is and everything, it, it, you're getting the same. It has an infinite you know field of view on it. So sure. You have to, your eye relief is. If infinite, you train a so. lot, you know your holdovers. You know this is that. I mean, it's it's you're gonna do it. Yeah, it's, and it's gonna it's gonna be just as effective as an as a hollow. Yeah, and I think uh, so for our next video, I really want to vlog our next range day. So I'm gonna set up that Seattle uh, PD SWAT guy suppressor. Fucking, you ever, you, we've all seen that video with the kid in oh, his arm, yeah, yeah. and he fucking runs like does an L shape run, and dumps, dumps the it. fucking guy. Uh, one of our guys at the department, he ran that drill. You're a piece of shit, and. Uh, <laughs> No, he's a great guy. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Should have let Jay do it first, asshole. Yeah. Anyway, he's he's going to do it. He's a solid, solid guy. We're going to run that drill. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, I think everything has a place, right? Hydra Mount has a place. Red Dots have their Very place. Niche. Holographics have their place. It's it's really like, what do you prefer? Yeah. What do you prefer? Yeah, I get it. I don't know. Like I said, two categories. Have to buy it, you're going to buy it. Yeah. I will buy it the day I pick up. Like I said, eventually I want I want that APC APC nine yeah. K. Badass. The moment I get it is the moment I'll get one of those. Yeah, badass. I'm a, a TP nine for me. Uh, uh, people say on the live, uh, Tony, you're a fag. That's all. That's all. Crazy, I'm crazy. Oh, they're not wrong. They said lift bigger. I don't know. Lift bigger. I need. Uh, I'm lifting all right. Lifting. Okay, all right. You see it. Real lifting. Quick? All right. Chris warms up with three fifteen. <laughs> That's when he's sick. cool. So he's doing push-ups. Great. That's when. He's <laughs> oh, Jesus yeah. Christ! God damn! Cheap shots. Cheap Yikes! Shots. Hey, hey, hey. 
Oh, but, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna be thinking about that on the car ride home. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, Chris! Emotional you know, damage. Dude. That's bad. That's pretty bad. It's <laughs> fucking flagrant. <laughs> I don't know. I I like the Unity though, but I'm an EOTech fucking soy boy. So I think I am gonna try. So we've seen a lot of. I think they are coming out with more mounts, right? So a GBRS Hydra mount. You have an EOTech one? No, no, they have. I'm fine. You got that kind of money, dude. Oh, uh, see. you do have that kind of money. You do. Yeah, I'll look We've at We've seen it. I'll go on your Transparent California right now and show you that you have that kind of money. No. no. Benny's and all. Uncle Sam takes his chair, dude. Uh, don't talk about Uncle Sam. <laughs> Dick, Dick Law wants to talk about him. Yeah, Dick Law! Don't, don't talk about oh, him. Dick, Dick Law, Law, baby! Does Dick Law watch every episode? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I, he He's your his, father. He, Why doesn't he, he every, doesn't support every you? Every episode, he asks the same question. He doesn't question. support you? Do you no, want to do doesn't. an episode on me and my father's relationship? Yeah, I would love to. We should. Yeah. Yes. You want to know what keeps... Uh, fun fact. You want to know what keeps our, me and my father's relationship going? Guns. That's it. <laughs> That's it. It's the only thing we have in common. Well, he's a red coat, but yeah, he's not. He's that. just he's, he's an, British. What do you mean, Dick Law? He's, red coat. He's a naturalized U.S. citizen, but he was British. He before. has a Pennsylvania ID. He was born in England. He moved here. When, yeah, I thought he was British. Hey, case closed. We, he worked his fucking ass off. <laughs> So he raised two kids as a single father. Hold on, I think raised is a stretch. He funded our bad <laughs> habits as a single father. Okay, don't call him a fucking red coat. He's not I a fucking didn't call, red coat. Did I call him a red coat? I mean, he's he's probably, probably a red coat. He's not yeah, a fucking wait. red coat. Dick Law. <laughs> My father is no not a red Dick coat. Law. Dick Law doesn't even he's not even on the live, dude. What do All you right. mean? That's uh I think we're about I think we're about ready. Phil's face is red. And his, as his, as his just dad's like coat. his dad's coat. <laughs> <laughs> Phil's face is as red as his dad's coat. <laughs> Folks, I think we're gonna we're we're having a hard time here. Um, no, we're not having a hard. I like it. It's so great time. all right. So real quick, are you a fan? Are you a fan? Would you? Would, you, you obviously already bought it, but you bought it for yeah. testing purposes. Mm -hmm. If you were able to, uh, it was loaned to you, and with the stipulation of you would either buy it to keep it or return it. Would you buy it or would you return it? I would return it with the caveat that I, if I didn't have a short gun, okay, like if I had a tax stamp, and then I fucking put it on the a shorty, I'd put it on a shorty for sure. Okay, I'd buy it for that purpose. Phil, so you would buy? Huh, just to clarify, <laughs> you would buy it. You if would you had buy the it gun. if you had an yeah. SBR or some if, kind. If of... If I had a Mark 18 in my safe, I would put it on that. Okay, okay. all right. I yeah. like I like what I have with the Unity. I think that if I had a TP9 or an MP7, I would buy this. Those are the only two. So if you had a sub gun, buy a sub gun or a saw. It. Now is, it a, a saw. is it a specific sub gun? TP9. Okay. TP9 or MP7. One hundred percent, unequivocally, without a doubt, I wouldn't buy anything else. I would put this on it. Did not nothing else would touch those two guns if I had if I had them. All right, Jay. Hydras for sub gun. Uh, yeah, I'd buy it. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and throw that on there. I would. I would. It has its place, right? So, like we were saying. I would buy this mount regardless. So I have a safe. I have I own multiple guns. I would buy this mount because I have a lot of guns. Does that make sense or no? Yep. Yes. Whether it be 16 inch all the way down to 7 inch. I would buy this mount because it offers me that height advantage and I could put that laser on it, whether it be a mall, a fucking Peck 15, whatever it may be, oh, I would cool. buy it. Um, light, so it gets it out of the way. I think it's, it's got its place. If you own multiple guns, multiple safes, I mean, not multiple safes, but you own multiple guns, it has its place in your safe, in your armory. Does that make sense? Yep. This isn't the first gun okay. thing you'd put it on there. No. It's not not if I was a brand new gun owner, brand new AR15 owner. No, I'm not gonna fucking you buy. You have five hundred dollars can go to training. Yeah, I'm not gonna spend five hundred dollars on a fucking mount. But if this is my fourth or fifth AR sub gun, whatever it may be, yeah, I'm gonna buy this mount because eventually you'll see the benefits into having this mount later in life. Does that make sense? Yep, I get it. Purpose I built. Know. Purpose built. Yeah, I get it. If I was like, um, so to read area on that, it's crazy. <laughs> um, military aspects. Uh, if I was in charge of my military buying purposes, I would buy this mount over any other mount. Whether it be fucking EOTech, Aimpoint, 
I would buy this mount, mount all my optics to it, and be done with it. Caster because it has a it has a place. It's a multi. I th- yeah, I think I think it fills a lot of roles. I think night vision alone, especially for what you're doing, especially for that, it fills the role. Hundred percent, it fills, it that fills role. the role. I would buy this mount if I was in charge of my unit buying purchases. I would buy this mount for every fucking rifle and be done with it because we don't we don't have to fuck with it ever again. It stays. It's done. It stays. We'll put a pressure pad. We'll put a fucking flashlight at the end of it and be done with it. Yeah. We don't have to finger fuck it again, and we'll be done with it. That's just my two cents. Uh, obviously, the Air Force has got fucking bigger and better plans. They got to buy fucking fuel and fucking tires and whatever NGAD. the fuck they got to do. And the new NGAD program. I don't want to fucking go. Fuck you, Air Force. I don't be dumb. Fucking dumb. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. They're idiots. All right. Well, um, me personally, I would... Once again, I think I think we're at the same boat. Oh. Where where we would I would uh It's me. Let me turn yeah. this camera around. <laughs> I would buy it if I owned a sub gun and I planned on doing a lot of training and setting up that sub gun. Par three Sam for, for it. That's right, brother. I am a part three. Is that three. Albert? No, no, no. Fuck it's Albert. Yeah, it's Albert. Fucking phone. <laughs> right, chill out. Dude. Let's just let's just, ch- let's so just chill out. That's for a second. that's where I that's where I'm like so I would need to have that. And it's like all right, I'm planning on setting this thing up with you know with obviously an optic on it. Putting putting them all fuck you, of, Albert. Doing whatever I want to do to fucking running gun. Albert Portillo, shout out. So that's that's literally where I'm gonna where I'd run it for, it. and obviously because my training is a lot more than most, so <laughs> I would have I would be a lot different. Um, Albert called you a bitch ass fool. Anyways, wow. Did he? Sorry, he? sorry. Uh, I had this live that. shit is out of control. I love the live shit to be honest. I love it. Um, I love the live. Shit. I don't know. It's that's that's where I think I think. We're, but it has it, its place. It has its place. It's extremely niche, and I I still think that it's overpriced for what it is. And I would try and find. Basically, I'd try and find a knockoff. I would try and find a what knockoff. Be, so what would That's be your price point? That's the beautiful thing about capitalism, though, and I, I like yeah, that. Sure. I like yeah, that what, what would be your price point? I like that comment. Uh, I think it'd be. Uh, you're I, a think, I think it should be around like two fifty for this thing. Two fifty? Yeah. That's where I think I think that's it's where crazy. this price, price point uh, it's crazy. lands. It's it's crazy. Because this whole point of like, oh, it's aircraft aluminum. Cool. You know, it's also you know, it's aircraft new. aluminum, it brother. It's still fucking aluminum. It's aluminum. It's still aluminum. So is my coke can. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, and and I gotta fucking that. spend that's ten not, cents. I gotta fucking. That's not how that yeah, works. Hey, Albert says you're a bitch ass fool. By the way, that's crazy. You look like the Hispanic Michelin man. Shut the fuck up. Oh, wow, it's oh, oh, we're really going off on you. There. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. I, 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 you. I think I think that's where it stands. Two fifty is where this thing should be at. It's two fifty. Yeah, two fifty is where it should be at. That's respect. What about what about you? Five hundred for this thing is out of control. Yeah, mid threes. Mid threes. Mid threes. I'll say mid threes. Solid. You're willing to spend more money than I am. I think mid threes is a good value for it. Albert for says he's your daddy, crap. but anyways. That's crazy. <laughs> you look like you ate my daddy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he says you're fat as fuck. It's crazy. <laughs> Let's see. Right, you rock the your... fucking unit. Rock the unity shit. I like the unity. Yeah, rock but the also, unity I'm shit. fucking dyslexic and I lose Clearly. The sight. So we know. I like the big circle. I run the fucking unity. I, I, run liked, the, I run the unity on my rifle. I like the 32 MOA with the little dot, you know. I like it. It's easy to pick up. Which yeah, is, this I is mean, a fucking gun. <laughs> Ace is ready. Ace is ready fire, to go, dude. I mean, for the cost, you can oh, set up shit, two rifles boss. with fucking the same price for the GBRS mount. This, if, you're, if you're trying to save, like, you can set up two rifles with, with that. Yeah, I mean, look at it. And, and, that, and you, one of them fucking articulates. Like, yeah. come on. This, 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 I'm going to say this. This is cooler to me than the fucking, the, that is that being, a fact? That, that being high. This solves so many problems. This oh, got st- fuck yeah. This this what problem do you have? This isn't he's me, alive. Let me finish. Yeah, the fact that I'm still okay, fucking sorry. breathing and Albert Portillo's in our life talking to me. That's my problem. My <laughs> sling alone, you? my sling alone. I'm not going through any brush or anything as of late, but I'm telling you right now, my sling alone gets caught on this as it articulates. What sling inside. do you have? What are you talking about? The sling that's attached to my firearm. What is it? It's a blue force gear sling. Yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> but that that's not bearing on any hey. of it. Hey! Hey, chill out, dude. Um, All right, I think we're done. Yeah, I like I like this though. I'll take this. I'm done. I'll keep this. <laughs> hmm. but. Well, it, it, it's a solid mount, so I think we could all agree that yes, it's sturdy. We the got. Hydra mount, it's got its place, right? Yeah. So we're all multi-gun owners. We all own sub guns, whatever it be. It's got a place. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Would you buy this? Yes or no? Yeah, would buy it. You, to, well, yeah. you did buy it. So. Oh, I did buy it. Yeah, so fuck. Phil, would you buy this? Yes or no? With the right gun, yes. Which gun? 
TP9. Or anything else or TP9? The, the B&T TPC. A, so a, anything a other than a sub gun, you're not buying this. Is that what you're saying? Yep. For a market. Uh, I'd buy it for a Geisley 10.5. I'd ten buy it for a Geisley. You buy it for a Geisley. A Geisley. It's lightweight. 10.5? Keeps 10 five? I think it's a 10.5. I don't know. 10.3, 10.5, whatever it is. It's a short barrel. So I don't want to put you on blast. Anyways. Yes, you'd buy it. Sub gun only. Sub gun only. Sub gun only. And That's it. And There's think, no other reason why I didn't need it. I think it's I think it's stupid other than that. Okay. Respectable. That's his opinion. Yeah. Not saying it's right. It's American. It's America. Yeah, it's capitalism. Yeah. I just I, I I wouldn't do and Ace. I wouldn't and it would have to be it has to be at a at a lower price point. That's my opinion. That's fair. I think Ace Economy's disagrees wholeheartedly. Uh he's gonna buy this regardless because he's got all the kinds of money <laughs> his, known dad, to man. his dad does. That's right, really. <laughs> well funded, I like well funded. This is a fucking fire room. <laughs> you savage little shit. All right, I think let's let's uh, let's get on out of here. Take it out. Take right it out here. All right, guys, thanks for joining us uh, once again. Uh, at Patreon subscribers, we really appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, all that. Like, fun comment, jazz. subscribe. Our biggest support of the channel. Biggest support of the channel. Axiom Training Axiom Training Group. Group. ATG. Hold on, let me. Uh, Axiom TG. Um, feel free to jump on the website. AxiomTG.com. Uh, go ahead and look for uh, any classes that we got going on. You turn it off. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you just like yeah. You wow. basically said fuck you guys. Uh, yeah, nah. we're back. Uh, uh, Hold this. Uh, 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 uh. Why am I holding this? <laughs> this is happening right. All right, now. folks. That was the lengthy runaround. Not to the point, but you got the point of the hydro now by, by GBRS. That would suck my ass. How about that? We're 50-50 on it. In fact, I'd probably go out on a limb and say we're three quarters of the way on it. Um, uh -huh. It's good. Has its place for some of us. All right, we're out of here. See you guys. Uh, that's it. That's it. Thanks, right. guys. Later. All right. After the wiggle. See ya.